Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. I'm Jimmy Carr, so if you've tuned in looking for the Deal or No Deal Christmas special, you should probably go up to bed now. You've fallen asleep in your chair again. <laughs> Didn't say that correctly, but never mind. <laughs> Now let's remind ourselves of what happened in July and August. Ronnie Wood ran off with a 19-year-old. I say ran off, he mobility scooted off. <laughs> a British couple were arrested in Dubai for having sex on a beach. The woman in question was given four years in jail. Her family are hoping at the end of that time she'll have got most of the sand out of her vajayjay. <laughs> Robert Mugabe went ahead with the Zimbabwean elections. There were a lot of floating voters, but most of them were on fire. <laughs> It's Robert Mugabe. <laughs> In the Church of England, two gay priests married. I think it was an important step towards modernisation, taken by a group of men in long dresses and silly hats, worshipping an imaginary friend. <laughs> right, on with the quiz. OK. Leader of the Conservative Party, David Cameron, was a victim of crime while shopping mm. for salad at his local Tesco's. Mm. What happened? Mm. Did you just move? <laughs> I made a, I was humming oh, and we were both double. nodding. Because we know the answer. Because we know the answer and that hasn't happened so far. OK, write that down. Come on, you've got it. You're playing catch-up. Dara and Davina are in the lead. OK. In August, the Russian press released an extraordinary story that Vladimir Putin had saved a group of reporters from a tiger attack. Mm. It was an amazing mm. story, OK? Mm. Not content with slaying a tiger, Putin also released an instructional DVD. What was the subject of the DVD? That's fact. Yes. Okay. Wasn't a word Baked potato, was potato was preparation, I imagine yes. you've gone for. Yes. Cheese grating. <laughs> <laughs> OK, before being captured and tried for war crimes, Radovan Karovic evaded capture for 12 years by creating a whole new identity. What was it? Yes. Yes. Oh, a lot of yeses, a lot of no, a lot of confidence. Yeah. July and August, that's, that's where we're going to come into our forte. Yes. We could actually use this to sort of pinpoint what mental deficiency you have. Because <laughs> you can remember back to July and August, which you is see? interesting, yes. Hello. Hello. September, not a chance. <gasps> August, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. <laughs> You're a lot of fun, Winkle. OK. <laughs> it's over to the Channel 4 newsroom. Uh, once again, Jon Snow has Sorry, adapted. Oh, oh, it's love, a John. Sorry. love John. Love John. A controversial debate was sparked into life yesterday by a girl who admitted to indulging in lip service with members of the same sex. In a short statement, the girl was unapologetic, simply saying, I liked it. Her boyfriend's <laughs> feelings on the matter, however, remain unclear. The girl also admitted that although it felt so wrong, it also felt so right, and that she'd been spurred on by the taste of the girl's cherry chapstick. <laughs> well, we've all done things we regret in college. <laughs> can, I, can I just officially say that that's porn for me? He's the dream. Yeah. Really? He's Sue, Davina? the yep. dream. Really? In a second, yep. like that, out no, by the bin. He's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but, but do the buy the bins thing again because my wank bank wasn't on. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, whatever uh, he wanted, little Snow with his jaunty tie yeah. and those eyebrows. I hear you, sister. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every time. Mm -hmm. Davina, Claudia, would you double team Jon Snow? Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if wow. you're watching, John, good luck. <laughs> Really? Claudia wants to do him by the bins. Yeah. The bins. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> by the bins, Winkleman and Snow, while McCall watches oh, on. That is, a oh. that is a cover of Heat, though. I'd buy that. And would you, would you dress, would you dress up as tramps? <laughs> oh, yes. Send you a love in love, tramps in love. And also, yeah. we'd go through the whole, the whole role yeah. play. Have you got any spare change? And he'd go, no, I don't, but... Look at my look at my red socks, and I'd go. Oh, let me just check. Oh, I'm not wearing anything underneath my mat. <laughs> <laughs> I actually need to lie down. I love them. To the answers at the end of that bizarre conversation. Okay, I asked you what happened to David Cameron outside his local Tesco. Well, right. Sadly, yeah. he didn't make love to Jon Snow. <laughs> You've okay. been snowed. He says that at the end. <laughs> Oh, I see it snowing. <laughs> I see it snowing. Yes. Snowing on your White face. How, how <laughs> 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 
slave hell jingle and jing jingling. <laughs> 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 Do you Thanks, think he Dara. might be watching? <laughs> I think he might be watching I think watching he'll this. be told about it. <laughs> even if he isn't. Even if he's out of the country, the minute he gets back, there'll be a text on his phone going, Winkleman and McCall want to double-team you by some pins. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I asked you what happened outside Tesco's to uh, David Cameron. What have you gone for? Uh, his bicycle was still. His bicycle was stolen. OK, what have you gone for? We've got his bike was nicked. OK. So we're a bit more for? street. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Michael and Claudia, you've gone for? We, bike stolen. Well, you're all absolutely right. Yes, right. bike was stolen. Yeah. What's outside pathetic Tesco. about this is that it was stolen. Well, firstly, I'd like to say, I, I think it's a joke, right, the way that Cameron and Boris Johnson, they went to Eton, but they think, we'll forget about it because they go around on bikes all the time. So, <laughs> no, we didn't go to Eton, we went around on bikes. But also, what is really pathetic about this was he took it to, the, uh, to, to Tesco's and he just tied it up to a bollard. Which then they just lifted it off. They didn't have to clamp it. It's literally that's how much he knows about life in Britain. Think, tie my bike to something, be absolutely fine. He just lifted it off and just walked away with it. He did. That wasn't a crime. That was a punishment for stupidity. <laughs> Those people should be applauded. Okay. So, what was the unusual subject of Vladimir Putin's DVD? What have you gone for? Judah. Mm. So Judo, you... P.S. It wasn't as good as ours. Our D... Well, see, her DVD, DVD at least is a health DVD. Mine is actually a stand-up show. But nonetheless, right, <laughs> still wasn't as good. Her DVD, buff. Mike. You have an amazing body. Michael. No, you do. My wife Mike. bought your DVD. It works out to your right. DVD. Good. It's amazing. I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, just one more month and that's what I'll get at home. <laughs> So, so your wife has bought a DVD. Because she had a baby. Your and wife she had got a baby. Into shape yeah. And she, she does Davina's DVD. Yeah, and but it won't happen because I've been working out for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. No change. Okay. <laughs> what we have got you gone judo. For? You've gone judo. Okay, what have you gone for? Judo. Oh, you got okay, judo. I can tell you you're right, but telling you isn't enough. Have a little look. Mm. Oh, oh nice. great. Катастроф техники до мелких деталей. В фильме широко представлена техника современного дзюдо, соревновательный арсенал, основные технические действия, раскрытые ионы комбинации техника удержаний. The other fellow wasn't really trying, was he? No, absolutely no trying at all. He's the, he's the, what is he? He's something powerful. Yeah. He owns Russia or something. <laughs> he's something powerful? Come on, it's been cracking on for ages, this thing. He's the president or the head of Russia. And he he's does the captain dribble. of Russia. He's the captain of <laughs> Russia. He's the chief. And they used to be a superpower, but he's now they've just cat. got one guy who does judo. We can so take them. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all right. I asked you uh, how former Serbian leader Radovan Karavic was uh, evaded capture for 12 years. Oh, yes. I've pronounced his name differently every time I've said it so far. <laughs> Radovan Karavic. Karadic. 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 Radovan Karadic. Radovan. I asked you how Radovan Karadic did... Ditch. 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 Like, as in dead in a ditch. Ditch. I asked Rad... you how Serbian leader Radovan Dednadic... <laughs> ...evaded capture. He was dead in a ditch, by the way. Uh, for 12 years. What have you got? What have you gone for, Dara? He was an alternative health therapist. OK, you've gone for... Well, OK, well, this well, is Sean's answer. I this say. is absolutely true. He was known as the butcher of Belgrade. He changed the sign outside his shop and became the baker of Belgrade. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody knew the difference. He said, no, he's moved. I'm down to baking. <laughs> the worst you... thing about this is that I said to Sean, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> and he says, he goes, I've just put in the curds in the oven. Lemon curds. <laughs> that is a fine curds joke. You won't get that anywhere else. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is a sorry. joke about a genocide, oh, so maybe a little bit. Except, sorry, sorry, the wrong genocide. The Kurds were in Iran. Oh, it's Iran. Not, it's not, they weren't in Serbia. Sorry. Unless they got really lost the Kurds and they're wandering into Serbia going, this is our new home. Oh, shite. It's Serbia, It's, it's yeah. also worth pointing out that Radovan Karadic isn't the butcher of Belgrade. That's Slobodan Milosevic. Right. That's yeah. another point worth making. <laughs> yeah. Let's not get, let's really not get tied wrong. up with detail, Tara. <laughs> let's just enjoy Christmas fun. <laughs> Is he, is he not? Oh. No, different fella. I feel so stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put? Alternative doctor. Well, you got it absolutely right. Yes, yeah. indeed, he was an alternative doctor. OK. You saw Jon Snow reading a new story uh, adapted from a much-loved pop song. What was the song? Who was the artist? Well, I regret giving it away earlier. Um, it's uh, Katy Perry's I Kissed a Girl. Mm. And how do you sing it? I don't sing it anymore. You do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't sing it. I refuse to sing it. <laughs> 
I don't sing it. I kissed a girl and I like tit. Yeah. OK. <laughs> uh, Shauna James? I mean, <laughs> Katy Perry, I kissed a girl. Correct. Uh, Dara and Davina. Katy Perry, I Kingdom. kissed a girl. Kissed a girl. Well, you all got that right. Should we have a listen? I was just getting my groove on, oh my I'm God, sorry. That was dancing. Massive. Boom. <laughs> OK, another bonus round sorry. now. One of the highlights of the year was, of course, the Olympic Games in Beijing. British athletes brought home 47 medals, but let's be honest, only 19 of them were gold. Let's remind ourselves of their incredible success. Another question, please welcome Christine Uhuragu and James DeGale. Yes. 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 You're all dressed up, you've all your mothers. Well, congratulations, well done before we even start. <laughs> now, you won the, the 400 metres. I don't. Are you going to be in 2012? Yeah, I hope so. Do you think if you train that. hard, you might be able to get it up to 800 metres? <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Well, you could snore that much further. <laughs> it's a whole lap. It's a whole other lap. You yeah. don't think you can make it? No. You should train a bit more. You think so? <laughs> You've got years. Just go around yeah, again. I'll, it's fine. I'll you probably get it. paid double for that. <laughs> okay. I don't know much about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, you do. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's properly like a big sweet. Brilliant. <laughs> Very exciting. And now you won the, the, the box. Boxing gold. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, I won the boxing gold. It's fantastic. Yeah, how Olympic cool gold are you? Medal. I won fantastic. the boxing gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no big thing. Yeah. Have you two been walking around like that since the Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> you see that they're constantly in. I'm sorry, but that is just a little bit arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael. What's that around his neck? Yeah. Also, don't ever go at him. He's, He's a boxer. boxer. <laughs> Boxing. That's yeah, gold medals for boxing. Six, six months ago. <laughs> 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 James, 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 could you punch a man's head off? I doubt it. Not off. <laughs> not off. Not well, off. let's have a look and see. <laughs> <laughs> and don't hurt me, De Gale. <laughs> okay. Now you've got a question for these panelists. We have. Make it cool. difficult for them. They were rude. You saw the phenomenon. You saying Bolt smashing the world record. More amazing when you consider what he ate to prepare for the race. What did he say he'd had for breakfast the morning before? Why didn't he whisper? No, no one's going to whisper to you. Oh. These are professional sports people. They can't be bribed. <laughs> are you looking forward to 2012? Because if I'm honest, I don't know how the audience feel or how the panel feel, but <laughs> if I trained for the Olympics, I'd be chuffed to go to China. I think that's a brilliant one. If I trained for four years and they went, yeah, you're going to the East End of London, I'd go... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get the bus there. I've got a travel car. This is nothing. <laughs> Are you a bit annoyed? A little bit, but I've took a different road, Jimmy. Yeah, you've gone professional, yeah, haven't you? I've gone professional now. Yay! Who are you going to fight now? He's gone professional. You've signed oh. with Frank Warren, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's <laughs> what weight? What weight? What weight? Middleweight, super middleweight, so... Yeah, fierce. <laughs> When, when have you got your first fight? Do you know? February. February. Feb Sorry, Feb what? Feb. 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 <laughs> say February. How February. do you say Feb February? Yeah, February. Yeah, no-one argues with him, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I know! Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing 
doing this. You missed the beginning. I was talking about Sarah oh, February. It's okay. nothing personal. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> this is like being back at school. Go. Oh, please don't hurt me. <laughs> okay, I'm so you've turned. I have yet to turn professional. Who are you fighting in February? I don't know yet. I won't know until. Oh, I hope it's not two, Michael. Four. <gasps> they reveal it. Does he come on like in a cape thing? And then just go. <laughs> and you. Just... No. <laughs> Going to be amazing. I hope it's in the UK. Yeah, it may, it well, good be. luck. It will be. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Let's see if you got the question right. The question was, what did Usain Bolt have for breakfast? Okay, what have you got? What have you gone for, Dara and Davina? Yeah, for uh, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, right? Sean and James, you've gone for chicken nuggets. James knew that. Okay, and you've gone for Michael and Claudia. What have you gone for? Breakfast. <laughs> you wrote breakfast down. Yes, That's he had so breakfast for breakfast. What do you have for <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> yeah. When you wake up in the morning, breakfast. <laughs> James hit him. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Yay! So you two got it right. Well done. Okay, let's check the score. So Dara and Davina have 24 points. Sean and James have 20 points. In last place, Michael and Claudia, <laughs> hang your heads in shame. 19 points. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me in thanking Christine and James. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>